The Leech Lake Reservation first declared a public health emergency for the opiate crisis back in 2011. Community members in Leech Lake gathered on International Overdose Day, Awareness Day, to talk about the crisis today. Mel Meyer has details from the Veterans Memorial Grounds. I love to see everybody here. I'm so glad to see everybody here. Organizers in 57 cities across the country held rallies through the Fed Up Coalition. 75 people from around the area came to the local event. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't let go. Patricia Bittner is the Meth Project Coordinator for the Leech Lake Tribal Police. She travels around the state to educate people from five years old and up about the issue. They need to learn all the prevention, they need to learn all the education so that they don't have to fall into the struggle of addiction every, that everybody else is. But people in the area may have to look elsewhere for help. Bittner says the small amount of inpatient centers in the area is one of the many barriers to treatment. There's more of a problem than there are the resources that we have to handle it. The problem has just gotten too big. Speakers at the event mirrored this sentiment. At that point in my life, I was Many speakers were hopeful for change in themselves and the community. Life is way better sober than it is high, you know. And when I left that addiction, now that I can see clearly and love life again, it is so beautiful. We have a beautiful nation. Now is our time to come together as one, not as divided. We are one. At the end of the event, loved ones lost to drugs were paid tribute to in a balloon release. According to a report released by the Minnesota Department of Health earlier this year, adults aged 35 to 44 were more likely to die from a drug overdose than any other age group. In Leech Lake, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. There are 398 treatment centers in Minnesota. Cass County has just two centers in the area. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.